Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the different polar motions in terms of displacement diagram. So here, so what is the first motion of polar? That is uniform velocity motion of the polar. So here now this is the displacement diagram shown here, where the y-axis will show the displacement of the polar and the x-axis will show the angle turned by the cap during its 360 degree rotation. So here first step is rise, that is angle of ascent. Second will be dwell, where the uh, uh, follower will remain stationary. Next is the return part, means the follower is coming from high point to its initial point, and here the rest of the part is dwell. So now here, in this case, for the uniform velocity motion, if you see, here you are going to now divide the angle of rise and angle of return in either equal six or eight equal parts. And then we are going to draw the line, which will be gradually increasing for angle of rise. Then it will be stationary at dwell point. And during the return, it will come to its initial position. So in this way, we will be going to represent the displacement diagram in terms of uniform velocity motion for the polar. The next is SHM motion of polar. So HS, SHM stands for simple harmonic motion. So here, if you see, so this angle, this theta O will be representing angle of ascent or angle of rise. Then this part will be dwell part and this part theta R will be the angle of return or angle of descent. And the rest of the part will be what? Here, further it will be dwell part. This it will be stationary, means it is uh, null part there. So what is the case for SHM here? You have to draw one semicircle towards the y-axis here, whose radius will be half the displacement or diameter is nothing but a displacement part. Then here, you have to just divide the angle of rise and angle of return means, uh, here in eight or six equal part. Suppose now in this case, we have now distributed or uh, distinguished this angle of rise and return in eight equal parts. So we have to also divide the semicircle in eight equal parts. And here you have to plot the projections of this one to one line. So suppose now this is the vertical line one and this horizontal line one, which is coming from this point will be cut here. So this is your first point. Then second line, second line, third to third line. And like this, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. So if you see, you will be getting some gradual profile here. Here it is not a straight line, but here it will be a gradual profile, rising part. In this case, it will be dwell, means this follower will be at higher position. And same, this distribution is uh, distributed, which is carried out further. So it, this return will be also gradual, and rest of the part is, it means it will be remain stationary. So in this case, the there will be gradual rise and gradual return to its initial position. So this is the SHM motion of the follower, that is simple harmonic motion of the follower. The next motion is uniform acceleration and retardation motion of follower. So here now, the uh, cam rotation is now divided into two parts, this is angle of rise, dwell and angle of return. And here, the acceleration is equal to retardation. So in this case, what we have to do, we have to same, we have to divide, just divide this rise part and return part into six or eight equal parts. Then as acceleration and retardation, they are same. So here, the midline for the angle of rise and the midline for the angle of return is now going to be divided into six or eight equal parts. So here, if you are dividing into eight, so the same division will be on, the mid, on this midline part, eight equal positions. And same procedure is followed here for the angle of return part. Then from the origin at this A point, you have to now join the projections half. Means first of all, you have to join this diagonal A to J. And then from here, J dash to A dash here. And now afterwards, this A, B, C and D will be lower part. And this E, F, G and H will be upper part. As we are saying that acceleration and retardation are same. So like this way, you will be getting the profile points will be cutting to this respective vertical line here. Here, if you see this is the A line, which is cutting the first, so this first point, then this is the C point, here it is the D point, and it will be E point. So like this way, you will be getting the profile of the displacement. This will be a displacement profile for the follow. At this J point here, 
it will remain stationary. Yes, it will be dual position. Yes, it will remain at that high position constantly. And the same process what we are following for the angle of rise will be followed for the angle of return or angle of fall. So in this way, we'll be getting the uniform acceleration and retardation. So this is the motion of follower called as uniform acceleration and retardation. So in this way, we are going to represent the displacement diagram for the uniform acceleration and retardation. The next motion of follower is the cyclotron motion. So in this cyclotron motion, only now for this case, for this condition, we have taken only angle of rise here. If you see this theta O, so what this theta O stands is the angle of rise. Now here, this angle of rise is divided into six equal parts. And now at this point, first of all, you have to draw one circle whose radius will be equal to ratio of displacement of the follower divided by two pi. Means it will be represented as small r is equal to yes, yes stands for displacement of the follower divided by two into pi. So whatever the radius we are getting, that radius is now plotted here with center A. And then now as we have divided this angle of rise into six equal parts or eight equal parts, whatever the condition, the same points we are going to divide on the circle. Now in this case, we have divided this angle of rise into six equal parts. So the circle will be also divided into six equal parts. And now this one, you have now joined this, means you have to just locate first point, this point, it means we have to first of all line, draw the line from point A to point B. And then the lines drawn from four to five and one to two, these two lines will be parallel to this line AB. Now this line four to five, it is now drawn parallel to this line AB. And this line one to it is now again drawn parallel to this line AB. So now one two. So this line which is passing, which is coming from this one two, when it cuts the vertical line one, it will give one dash. Then two, this B point. Then this three and six. So this will be what? This will be your C point will be three. And then afterwards, where will be your six? Six will be ahead. So this will be four point, that is D point here. Then this will be E point, this five point, five dash. And last will be the six. So in this way, for the cycle motion of follower, we are now going to represent the curve for the displacement diagram of the follower. So for the cycle motion of follower, we have to just draw the displacement diagram of the follower in this way. Thank you.